And then maybe next week, if I don't end up filming anything, I will uh, upload the space shuttle slideshow. That's what I'll do on, on the weeks when I don't do any model building. I will uh, fill it in with uh, space shuttle. You can, uh, you can see the space shuttle here. The uh, Columbia Space Shuttle. So I deliberately made it early flight Columbia because I put the uh, name on the doors so that when they fold down you can't see them. And I even used the shuttle guides I have to make the markings like they were in the second uh, flight. I deliberately made it the second flight. And you can see the, uh, the other parts here. And the Canada Arm. If you look very closely, use my finger as a guide. There you go. See, you can see Canada on it, even the red flag for the D. I had to make sure to do that. Huh. So that is a preview of the next model build slideshow from one of my older model builds. It's now like three years in the past. So this is the uh, kit itself. You can see it here before I built the model. And here you can see the uh, bottom parts, the stand, and the bottom side of the ship. Here's some of the white parts that make up the uh, things that go inside the cargo hold. And here's the uh, shuttle itself when I assembled the top half, assembled the hinge doors, and then I assembled the uh, engine pieces, painted them black from on the sprue tree then started attaching them to the, the shuttle itself. So the next few pictures should be a few beauty shots without the engines attached. You can see that here from the front. You can see it here from the side. I took these pictures when I lived in Quebec in 2019. As I said, this model was built three years ago. And this is the first picture showing the uh, thruster assembly attached to the model. And then I did a few more Actually, this is the base plate for the thrusters. You'll see the thrusters attached in the next picture. As you can see here, I did them all in silver. And then I also used silver Sharpie on the base, but you saw that in one of the first pictures. But here's the shuttle test fit and attached with the tail fin attached as well, including the decal. Now you can see the back of the shuttle. I even I even did the little side auxiliary thrusters. Don't know if you can tell from the picture, but it had a red light and a green light, port and starboard. There's the port view. There's a slightly raised frontal view, kind of a three-quarter ventral view. And this is a shot I took, you know, as if the shuttle was coming in for a landing. You can see it sitting on the instructions the whole time. There's a view from the top. Sitting on a display case, not sure what's in the display case, maybe one of the die-cast shuttles. There's a close view of the base with the NASA and space shuttle lettering. And there it is, a wider view sitting on the display case itself. Then I took a few pictures of the shuttle. So this is how the shuttle looked before I made it look like Columbia. As you know, Columbia had those distinctive black chines. So you see I added them there and added the... Uh, the stickers had to cut the USA part to make it fit. So you can see a good side view there. Now that's before I added the markings that made the shuttle look like it did in the uh, its second launch, because I built this one with the cannon arm, as you know. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. So there's the starboard side. You can see how the name is on the cargo bay doors, because that's how it was in the... Uh, in its first launch, just, just like Enterprise was, you can see the name NASA is on the cargo bay doors as well. Here's another view from the bottom. That black paint really did well. I did silver sharpie on the nose, as you can see there. And I also did silver sharpie along the wing edges, as you can see in this picture. And I used Malterfine black sharpie to do the tiles. So they look segmented. There it is on the display case again, a couple pictures from that. So these, la these last pictures, the last couple minutes of the video, are basically beauty shots of the ship. These are the die-cast shuttles I bought in New York City in December of 18. 
So that's the display case that this shuttle is sitting on. Those die-cast shuttles are pretty well the same scale, 200 scale, like this space shuttle. And there's an aft view of the shuttle itself, as if it were coming in for a landing, but you're seeing it from the back. And here it is from the top. So you can really see those distinctive black chines there. I used um, silver sharpie on the cargo bay door just to make the dividing look a bit better. And this is a shot of the shuttle as it would look when it's landed. Now this shuttle does not have wheels. You see the Canada arm sticking out. Here's a close-up view of the Canada arm. You can see the Canada print and the red flag above the D. Use my ultra-fine black sharpie for that. And here is where it was displayed with its box, both with its doors open and its doors closed. Well, they're open in this picture, but they're closed in this picture. And there it is sitting on the construct stand I made for it. So this is probably taken in Chalk River itself. But the constructs worked perfectly. It fit the width of the stand as almost as if it were made for it. So you can see the port side, I mean starboard side view here. You can see the gray hole, thruster holes in the nose. There's the back side of the, uh, the shuttle. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll post it for this Friday. Bye bye.